hair because I get a lot of compliments and a lot of people asking me what I put in my hair to make it stay the way that it does. I want to just say really quickly that this video isn't just for women, it's also for men that have curly hair. So it's not exclusive to us. I'm gonna show you everything that I use and my very strange and unconventional way of how I dry it. And I'll tell you later on why I dry it the way that I do. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the products that I use to both wash and style my hair, I'm gonna start first with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. It has coconut oil, uh, which helps to hydrate and protect the hair, and it also helps to reduce breakage. Um, it also has Silk Protein, which helps to smooth the hair. Second, I use the Aunt Jackie's Curl and Coils in control moisture and softening conditioner it's fairly affordable i would say maybe a jar can cost you up to i think like 11 dollars um i really 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 like this conditioner it smells amazing but it's also uh, sulfate paraben and mineral oil free no petroleum and it also has shea butter and olive oil in it um to also keep and lock in moisture in the hair that works really good i have also styled my hair with that conditioner before um but right now i'm only using it for actual conditioner purposes because i bought a new product that i'm really excited to introduce to y'all that has worked wonders for me uh from the last time that i used it it's called sapphira divine curl cream so that's what i actually use to style my curl and it works through the hair very easily which is something that I really like it doesn't take too long to comb through it it acts almost as a detangler so I'm gonna show you how I use that product to style with after I wash my hair hey you guys so I'm back I just went on and washed and conditioned my hair Ugh, I got hair in my mouth so from here I'm going to put in my styling product section by section I do like to apply my product with my hair fairly wet all right so from here let's get started so I find the section that I want to work with and my hair isn't that wet so I can go ahead and take that off uh let's say I want to do for the back section maybe that much hair that's a pretty decent amount take the rest of the hair I usually have a hair clip um, to section the rest of this hair off, but I don't know where I put it. So um, we're just gonna use a hair tie for right now. Okay, so we're gonna do about a section this big to start. And this is actually bigger than what I usually do. I kind of split that in half to put product on, but this is fine for now. Um, so here's the product that I'm going to style with that I was showing you before, the Sapphira uh, Divine Curl Cream. And I use for a section that big, about two pumps, which looks like that, right? Rub it together real good, and I make sure to spread it on there real good first before I comb it through. This hair is like falling at the same time. Anyway, so I squeeze it in, like, you squeeze it in real good because that's gonna help it spread more. Then I take a wide tooth. And I just go on and comb it and really yeah this is too much of a section because I typically would use a small section I don't like my sections big so after combing it through I use my fingers to separate the curl um I do that because you want to kind of I don't want to say clump the curls together but you want to bring them together um for a much more boosted curl effect if you just comb it in and leave it, it's gonna look, um, it'll just look more separated and puffy. If that's the look you wanna go for, that's cool. Um, but I like for mine to last me at least a week. So I let it poof over time. I don't like it to poof on the first uh, day. So you know, you just work it in there, it's super easy. It's not that difficult at all. Now that my hair is a little longer, it's kind of easier to work with. When it was short, you got to take much smaller sections and all that combing through and stuff. It's too much. But this here is like a lot faster. So yeah, look, it's just that easy. Put 
products. From here, I kind of just shake it out because I don't want all this hair from the back to dry forward. So shaking it out will allow me to see exactly where everything's gonna sit. I've worked my fingers through everything as well to make sure that all of my curl is covered. So from here, I generally um, literally just take my hands from the bottom. You see where all of my hair kind of sits straight right here? Squeezing it up from the bottom will help it to kind of bounce into a curl. And of course, when it dries, it'll be even more curly. Okay. So, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look like a huge difference right now, but of course when it dries, it will. Okay, so now for <laughs> the interesting part of the way that I style my hair, I actually use a mini heater. I use a mini heater to dry my hair. I know that that seems very strange. How did I get to the point of using a heater to dry my hair? Well, so um, some of you know I am a hairstylist and um, I generally keep my tools at work. Well, one day I wanted to wash my hair and I was at home and did not have a blow dryer with me. My blow dryer was at work still. I had already washed my hair and my hair was wet. I had no other choice. so. At that point, I was like, okay, well, let me see if I can dry it with the heater just to kind of, you know, do something with it so my hair isn't soaking wet. From then on, I kind of have been doing that at home, but I noticed from using the heater as opposed to the blow dryer, uh, my hair dries like super duper fast. Um, it also, it doesn't really, it doesn't do any damage to my hair because my hair hasn't changed since I've been using it. It also, does not blow air out very fast because the air is so soft it doesn't move the hair at all it literally dries just like you're looking at it and i can manipulate it the way that i want to from there let's get to drying it's gonna look crazy i'm gonna tell you right now it's gonna look real crazy y'all but it works it looks really crazy especially on camera um but Nobody's going to see you in your room and how you dry your hair, so give it a try. See if it does anything for you. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick slow down um, so that I can show you guys. My hair is mostly dry already. I probably only have been drying it maybe a minute. Um, and it's, I mean, you can see the difference. This is kind of hanging. This is kind of puffed up a little bit. So what I am going to do is show you that I gently... When all of the surface is dry, I gently pick it up. I don't grab it too hard because you don't want to like disrupt the curl. Gently lift it and just dry underneath. So that's it like I'm basically done with curling my hair so from here you can either leave it like this or I take my comb I like my hair to be really big like as big as I can get it right now it's not gonna get super big because in the middle you will have a tiny bit of dampness in there and that's fine because in like an hour or so it'll be a hundred percent dry unless you use the heater to completely dry but I don't do that I don't I don't want my hair to be so dry from the heater I just dry it enough to um, get the style in and I let the rest dry throughout the day so I will also um, sometimes take it and like I like it to be a little softer sometimes that product can leave like a light crunch which is okay I mean that's how you get it to hold all day but you know, just move it around with your fingers a little bit to soften it up. I need a haircut, y'all. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's it. That is all I do. The video took me 22 minutes to make, which means it literally only took me 22 minutes to curl my hair. I hope that you guys got something out of this video. I hope you're able to try this, these products.
products at home. I hope they work for you. And if you have any questions about your hair, I am a professional stylist of 11 years now. So you can ask me whatever you like and I will try to get that information to you as soon as possible. So thank you. Thank you for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.